Are you eating it now? Hey guys! I'm Emma. And I'm Emily. Today we're going to be talking about our exam experience. Wow. Making cookies! First let's just read this, so wait. They are Quaker cookies. Preheat oven. Okay, now do exams. We each had eight courses all year round. We're not semesters. Semesters is where you have four and four. So you do four up until like, like I don't know when December the or so, and then you do four like after until like June or May. But our school is non-semester. Both of our schools. So eight courses so. all year round. So. And then exam-wise, I had three exams and an EQAO. And I had four exams and an EQAO. We have to add egg, one egg, and two tablespoons of butter. Do we have milk for butter? My exams were in, in order. Well, first I had my EQAO, and then I had my math, French, and science. For my exams, I had EQAO, math, French, geography, and science. So, yeah. Yeah. And for the subjects we didn't have exams, we had like culminating projects. Mm -hmm. Like a big project that's worth the same amount as an exam for two school gym. Like, you can't really do like a gym exam. And then, my school is something special. It's like an integrated project. It's yeah. where we take BTT, which is like the computer class, um, geography and English, and we put them together to make like a project. I found butter! Good job, little boy. Is this supposed to be gross? This is garlic butter. So, we just had culminating activities and exams, and actually, almost all of our culminating activities were presentations, but it's okay, it's all over now. Okay, we also need to kind of explain the EQAO, because if you don't live in Ontario, or, don't know know. One, or like know someone who's at school in Ontario you don't yeah. know. It's a standardized test that kids have to take in grade 3, 6, and 9. There's math, reading, and writing. It's basically, it's like a math exam. And then I had my math exam after EQIO. Ooh, it's preheated. That's oh, okay, it's nice. keep cooking for a while. After that, I had my French exam. And I used to be in immersion with Emily. But now I'm in core, which is like very like minimal. I used to do French like every day since the age of five, and now I'm just doing like kids who just did a little bit of French. So the exam was really easy. Okay, so this is it's supposed very to be dry. dry. I know. Are you sure this is right? So they can be worth up to 30% of your grade. In science, my exam was worth 30% of my grade. So we're supposed to. 13 to 15 Ah, I'll say. Finally, I just want to talk about how we study for exams. Basically, in my opinion, I don't think you have to study for everything, especially in grade 9, because there's some things that, first of all, I felt like I couldn't study for, like reading and then writing about it. So yeah, some parts you can't study for. For science, I've studied a lot for and definitely paid off. Math, I studied, I don't think I studied algebra enough. But I studied a lot. I studied three days a week science, two days a week math, and one day a week French for three weeks. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, what you should take away from this video about exams is well, and if you study, it's not very hard. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Don't forget to like. Um, comment down below if you guys have done exams, if you guys do exams, yeah. what grade you're in, blah, blah, blah. And study tips. Yeah. And then, don't forget to subscribe. We post videos every Wednesday, usually. See you next week. Bye! Bye.